Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Bash playing some Modern Warfare 3. You guys are watching me trying to win a TDM using the Silent Scar, one of my favorite guns. But right now, I'm not really going to be talking about this gameplay. I am not going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3. There are much bigger and more important things that are on my mind right now. As you guys know, it's April 30th today. Tomorrow, it's May 1st. And what does that mean? That means that the world reveal for the new Call of Duty title is going to pop off during the NBA playoffs. NBA playoffs and Call of Duty, two of my favorite things. So I'm really excited, as you guys can imagine. Um, if you didn't know that tomorrow the world reveal for the new Call of Duty title is going to go down, one of two things are happening. You're either not really a big Call of Duty fan or you've been living under a rock. Um, man, Activision, they definitely know how to hype up a release, especially a Call of Duty release. I mean, it is the best-selling game, so of course they're going to hype it up. But we're six months away from this release, and I'm already super excited. I can't wait for it. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I wasn't really feeling Call of Duty. I wasn't playing too much Modern Warfare 3. And lately, I've been playing a lot more Modern Warfare 3, and that's just because I'm so hyped up, so excited. I can't wait for the next game to come out. Um, as you guys may or may not know, the marketing campaign for Black Ops 2 has already started, or what I think is going to be Black Ops 2. Um, if you go to CallDuty.com right now, you'll see a bunch of images on the screen. You'll see a bunch of other images that say classified. Uh, and what these are are teasers. Basically, uh, every couple of days, every day or so, really, um, one of those classified images becomes declassified. And uh, you can enlarge it. You can look at it. Sometimes it's words. Sometimes it's numbers. Sometimes it's images. Sometimes it links to a video. Um, an FPS Russia video. Shout out to FPS Russia. That's actually that's a good look for him. But... um. These are all little teasers to kind of give us a, a taste of what we can expect or just really get us hyped up for Black Ops 2. Now, I think it's going to be Black Ops 2. Actually, I know it's going to be Black Ops 2. Um, if you guys didn't know already, I'll post a link in the description. Somebody who works at Target um, took images or they took pictures of Black Ops 2 reservation cards. So I guess when you go in to uh, when you go into Target and you decide to reserve Black Ops 2 whenever they start selling the, the pre-sales or the pre-orders for the game, they're going to give you a reservation card. There's already a reservation card for Black Ops 2. It looks super legit. It's from Target. Um, I'll let you guys be the judge, but personally, it's it sold me. I think it's going to be Black Ops 2. Um, now, for all of you who have no clue what I'm talking about, you're like, what? There's going to be a new Call of Duty? What, what, what are you talking about? Let me fill you in real quickly. First off, there's going to be a couple of videos in the description, um, two of them from Team Art. One of them from Woody that'll kind of break everything down for you. I don't want to. I don't want to sound redundant in this video because all this stuff has kind of already been covered. But I just want to talk about it because, because as you know, this is a Call of Duty channel. As you know, I'm hyped up, and, and this is really my way to kind of connect with you guys as well as get my excitement all out there. Um, so let me just talk about what we do know. Like I said, the marketing campaign for Black Ops 2 has begun May 1st tomorrow during the NBA playoffs. There will be a world reveal, so we'll, we'll we'll know what the game is. We'll know it's Black Ops 2. Um, we'll have a little glimpse of, I guess, what what it is. Some people saying it's going to take place in the future. Whatever the case may be, maybe we'll we'll find that kind of information out. Um, they're releasing teasers, like I said, on the website right now. Um, now, first off, let me just talk about one of the teasers because it kind of relates to what's going to be going down tomorrow. Teaser number three came out a couple of days ago. I think it came out on Friday, actually. Uh, and it was a sequence of numbers and letters that were changing. They, they seemed to be in a little bit of a loop. Um, when you slowed it all down, when you kind of took a took an image of every single number sequence that you could find, there were 15 different frames. Uh, three of those frames were actually number only sequences um now, i don't know who had the bright idea i'd love to give credit to whoever it was i kind of heard um i don't know who who it was who figured this out but those three number sequences i guess look like coordinates so when you put them into google maps they take you um straight to the staple center um so that's what you know tomorrow may 1st there's going to be a, a lakers game at the staple center a playoff game um, it's 10:30 for me because I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. But if you're in the in, if you're in the West Coast Pacific Time Zone, it, it's 7:30 for you. So that's really the game you need to be tuning into if you want to see uh, the world reveal. But of course, as always, I, I, I in the past, whenever something's been revealed on TV, um, Call of Duty does a really good job revealing revealing it immediately uh, on the Call of Duty YouTube page. So we can expect tomorrow at about you know somewhere between 10:30 and midnight Eastern Time. Uh, a new video will pop up 
on the Call of Duty YouTube channel, and, and it'll be the world reveal for the next game. I'm super excited for it. I cannot wait for it. I know it's gonna be Black Ops 2. Um, if you, like I said, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, you haven't, you know, this is the first time you're hearing about this. That would be really weird because it's all over the interwebs right now. But if it is the first time you're hearing about this, watch the videos in the description from T Martin Woody. It'll fill you in on everything you need to know, kind of about Black Ops 2, what we know so far. Um, FPS Russia kind of plays a role and. It's crazy. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Um, You know, it's getting me back into things. As you guys know, I, I haven't been playing Modern Warfare 3 too much. But now I'm finding myself playing Modern Warfare 3 a lot more. Um, in the past week, actually, um, I've been live streaming. So uh, I've live streamed for, for a couple of times. I think th uh, two or three times I live streamed. And I'm planning on doing it some more. Um, trying to bring the old team together. Team Martin Onslaught were, were supposed to play with me last week. We didn't get to play. We'll probably be playing this week. And I'll be live streaming it. So if you don't follow my live stream, go to twitch.tv slash bashlol. Follow my live stream. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, you're just, you know, checking this video out, you should subscribe to the channel. I'm definitely going to be doing everything I can to cover every aspect of Black Ops 2 that I can possibly can. Because, uh, as you guys know, I haven't been so enthusiastic about, you know, Call of Duty, so I haven't really been posting too many more, too many videos. But, um, as it stands right now, I'm super hyped up, and, and I'm so excited, and I just want to put, it like, 10 videos out. But, um, I just don't have all that much info right now. But, um, anyways, when I do get all the info, I will be releasing it to you guys as quickly as possible, keeping you guys as up to date as I can. So, definitely, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash bashlol, uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash bashlol, or just leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll see you guys tomorrow after the reveal. We'll talk about it. Peace.